here with some more replay games. And yeah, this time I'm going to talk about skipping scrying pool, which is a topic that came up in some discussions a while back. Scrying pool being very strong and a card you don't mo mostly want to skip, but uh, had a couple of games recently where it happened. And let's start with this one. Um, yeah, I'm really not totally sure about skipping scrying pool here, except, well, I think even if you are going for scrying pool, you want to thin with count, probably. And you want a big part of your payload to be charm, because charm gets you more fives, and there's just not that much to do with the pools, right? There's you can draw advisors and diplomats and stuff and the only way to get extra gains is through charm or I guess count but count can only extra gain you coppers and uh, why can't I think of the word duchy duchies um, kind of transmogrify right but so I just want to get up and going faster. I want to get to my count, and then I think, well, maybe I can get pool later. And I think we're going to see, if I remember right, in this game, by the time I get to the point where I would maybe add pool, I think to myself, why would I want to add pool? I have plenty of other stuff going on. So, um, yeah, my opponent goes for the pool, and I decided to go for transmogrify skip ahead a little bit here. I go transmogrify silver, you go pool silver. You're going to want a lot of silvers anyway in this. Um, I get my transmogrify turn four, which ain't great, but I am able to get a count anyway, so that's nice. Um, and so then here, here I can turn a silver into a four, um, which I decide to do. I get another transmogrify, or do I get an advisor at this point? Um, I just like hitting five is, well, would I rather get a potion to try to get pools? Or I could have, you know, transmogrified into potion to get pools there already. But here I can just kind of repeatedly start taking fives and fives and fives. And this basically, it's not that, oh, my, I have a grand plan to skip pool. It's, I have a grand plan to thin first, and then by the time I am thinning first, skipping pool just kind of happens naturally, right? I'm just hitting five all the time or trashing. And if I'm hitting five all the time anyway, I don't need the pools, right? I'm already fairly thin now. And I just don't need pool. I can finish my thinning here, getting rid of those last coppers. And now I just have this deck where, okay, I've gotten down to a five card deck. And yeah, I can start getting charms and then getting multiple fives and multiple fives and multiple fives. My seers are only going to be so-so, but that's okay. Um, and in fact, I decide, you know what? I want to get rid of one of the seers for a charm to start getting more fives. It's just better, right? I can regain the the seer here if I go charm seer and I'm no further behind than if I would have just bought the charm here in fact I'm a I have the same number of seers and I'm an extra charm to the good and the only downside is that I've called a transmogrify instead of having it on my mat but with the seer top decked it's just perfectly fine um, yeah and so basically that's what's going to happen for the rest of this game. Um, at some point, you know, I can think about transmogrifying different things, taking advisors, but we can skip ahead a bit and we see that I just keep getting more charms, basically. My opponent only ever got the two pools because they just didn't need more because once you thin, you're drawing anyway. And I have this huge charm advantage. The charms are gonna run out, so I start taking cities, which are much better than seers once the charms do run out despite me not really using the village effect of city, just lab is better than, than seer when you have so many cards. Do gain a copper here, because I have so many charms that I'm just very happy to gain a ton of fives. I got a band of misfits at some point, which, um, well, mostly seems, it was, it was a way to get 
uh, basically an extra advisor off of a charm gain, but just doesn't seem all that convincing to me. Um, so here I empty the charms and start picking up a bunch of cities. I get another count. Part of the idea here is you can top deck um, quite a bit of stuff. And so then we just get into the end game where there's some transmogrify stuff to worry about. You don't want to leave piles too low to let your opponent activate cities and such. So my opponent's gotten a province. I'm probably going to do most of my scoring via duchy because I still want to gain a lot of fives. So here, you know, I, I want to get more draw and I want to start scoring a bit. I, I want to leave both the Seers and the Cities at 2, though, because if I had them at 1, then Transmogrify could empty the pile, and then, then suddenly your Cities are fully activated and you get the extra buys. You could, you know, end the game and win. Um, maybe even lowering this low is a little bit risky, because what if I, you know, miss out on something? But I don't think it's that risky, and I have all the pile control with all my charms. I mean, not all of it, but most of it with all the charms. My opponent did lower these each to one, and that let me transmogrify into the last city here. And so now all I need to do is just draw a bit, and I draw plenty enough to be able to take the last seer and actually all the duchies as well. Um, and four pile with plenty of points to spare. So this was not so much like, oh, my grand plan is to skip pool. It was more of a out of convenience. I was going to delay it anyway, and then suddenly all I ever want is fives, and there's just never a good point for it, and I don't need it. We're going to move on to our next game where we're skipping scrying pool. And again, part of the story is you have all of the pieces you need without needing to go for scrying pool, right? Scrying pool, yes, would draw you a lot of cards here. But Seer can also draw you a lot of cards, and you can use Village or Steward maybe as well. You're going to get a Steward anyway because you want it to thin. Um, and, well, basically other than the Seer itself and maybe Vampire, all the cards that you want to draw here are Seerable, so Seer is an excellent draw card. It works with Patron potentially a bit, um, but mostly you want to go for a big bridge thing on the end. Um, and the, then, of course, the other big reason to skip Scrying Pool is Embargo. So my opponent does open Potion. I'm going to get the Steward because, well, I certainly want to be thinning down. And then I decide to open Embargo, which I'm not sure about. We can, we can stop and talk about this. It's very possible, since I have a Steward, I'm very likely to get a hand where I trash with Steward and have two money left over. And it's very plausible I would you know, buy Embargo then. So it's possible I should have waited on the Embargo and like getting the token down immediately is not really that important because pool is already slow to start with. So I kind of think probably the Embargo on my end was a mistake and I could have gotten something else like, I don't know, a Patron maybe to help me start hitting five, um, maybe a second Steward, maybe a Bridge. Um, but there's a number of things that I could have gotten there that probably would have been better than the embargo. My opponent going first was able to get a pool before I embargoed them anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I hit five there off the embargo, and I'm going to be able to trash and get another embargo here. Um, I decided to go for a vampire. It's going to help me thin. And it's also going to gain me Sears over the course of the game, and once it's a bat, the Sears will draw it. I don't need a lot of vampires here, but a couple seem fine. Also, at the end of the game, right, it can gain me province once I have a few bridges in play, so that's going to be pretty nice. Here, with only one terminal, I already take uh, a village because, well, I don't really want another steward, and my Sears will pick up villages, and yeah, that's really more or less all there is to it. Um, at this point, I'm just trying to get this stuff set up and maybe a patron at some point to be a, a source of villagers might be nice, you know, eventually at some point. Um, I drew there instead of trashing because I'm like, I'm trashing already with that and I actually want to be buying more stuff. 
I really want to be able to get to bridge, which wasn't going to happen there. But again, I'm going to draw here because it's it's just all about, you know, I'm so far ahead already. Um, and I'm actually pretty thin and my, my bats are going to thin me the rest of the way I need. Um, that I don't really need to thin that much more with Stewart. I need to be drawing. So, and I need plus buy particularly. So I, I really like picking up the bridge at that point, another seer to get my draw up a little bit more. And uh, I have the villages to support, you know, my bridge and steward stuff. So we're really off to the races at this point. Um, my opponent can't really take too many scrying pools. So just getting the potion and then the curse with this is just a huge tempo setback. I mean, getting the potion already for pool is a pretty big tempo setback. And even without embargo here, I think the pools might really be slow because you can thin down and draw anyway. Um, the pools might be a little bit too slow. Um, not entirely clear. The embargo really puts it over the top though. Um, yeah, so we can just skip ahead through this game mostly. I continue to pick up Sears, patrons, bridge, a patron or two, uh, bridges, villages. Um, I eventually want to, uh, I eventually even trash this steward because, well, terminal space is a limiting factor for me and the steward has stopped doing much. I have so much money that I just, I have more than I ever need. Um, yeah, so I just keep enough seers to draw everything, top deck the seer here. I've run out of things to trash as well. Top deck the seer so I don't play this I don't play this village so I can leave the seer on top. I have enough villagers, it's not a big deal. And then it's just like, well, I'm just gonna get enough bridges to end the game next turn. <laughs> so that's exactly what I do. In fact I get one extra because I have the vampire, but my opponent locusts a bridge into a village anyway, so it all works out in the end. Um, and we can see my opponent resigns right before the end here, where I'm gonna have eight provinces. I have just enough money. This is what I was counting is 15 money is enough to buy seven provinces and then vampire gains the last one. So from these two games, what can we see about skipping scrying pool? And what are some commonalities we can start to form? Obviously, this is just two games, which is still a really small sample size. But first of all, well, in both of these games, it was seer. But the important thing is there are ways to draw without the scrying pool. There's ways to thin. And the tempo hit of getting the potion and buying the scrying pools is a pretty significant hit, right? Um, it would take a significant amount of time and there's just other things that you need to be doing um, where it's kind of faster to get your drop without having to buy a pool, one at a, buy a potion and then buy a pool one at a time, turn after turn. You can be getting some of your other things and just getting your draw up more efficiently than that. Um, and that was a that was a big deal in both of these games. The thinning was there such that the, the pool to draw a million cards wasn't needed. You didn't need to draw a million. You could draw fine, and or the seers were drawing a million. Um, so the the good thinning, and then the draw already existing uh, from the seer or the cities in the other game, right? Uh, or potentially steward smithy here, although we didn't need it. Um, the, the draw was there anyway, so you didn't need that. And the big downside of the scrying pool is that it's slow. You have to get the potion and then you have to buy the pool and it's one at a time, one per turn. And these boards were both very fast and you just did not have time to be that slow in building up your draw pieces. Um, yeah, I mean, also embargo kind of goes <laughs> on the, the pool thing. So that's also something to potentially watch out for. Tax can do that to a smaller extent as well. Hopefully you've learned or enjoyed. We'll be back with more replays soon.